Rose Dutch Life. Today I'm going to be making a bacon and red onion quiche. The quiche is going to be obviously low starch, grain free, gluten free and dairy free but it will contain eggs. So first I'm going to make the base and I'm going to actually use the same recipe for this as I used for the mince pies. I find it easier to have one recipe that I run with for all of my meals. Um, so let's get started on the base. First I'm going to add two tablespoons of melted coconut oil to a bowl. And then I've got one egg. One tablespoon of honey. One teaspoon of vanilla essence. And that's it for the wet ingredients. So I'm just going to get my hand blender and whisk those all together. There we go, now we can add the dry ingredients. So here I've got one and a half cups of ground almonds or almond flour. One tablespoon of coconut flour and a teaspoon of baking soda with a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now these should all mix together and come together in a ball just like for my mince pie recipe. I love this dough because it's just so easy to make. That's it, that's all come together lovely in a ball. So my oven is preheated to 180 degrees and I'm just going to now put the dough into my tin. So I've got a tin that has a loose bottom so that I can easily get my quiche out and I'm going to line it with some baking paper and then I'm just going to get my dough and squeeze it in and just fill the bottom and up the sides. There, so I've just spread the base so that it's pretty even all the way around. Um, if you wanted, you could use a small cupcake tin or a muffin tin if you wanted to make little individual quiches, but I'm gonna try and make a big one. Um, these quiches are gonna be great, as well as Christmas, they're gonna be great for um, eating every day and preparing for the week in advance. These quiches are also going to be fine for people that are on AIP reintro like me. If you're just dairy free, then you could choose an alternative base. Obviously, because I'm not eating any sort of grains, I've gone for almond flour base, but if you're just avoiding dairy, then choose whichever base suits your diet, really. So I'm going to put this in the oven for 10 minutes, just to start with, just to brown it off a bit. Now we can mix together our filling while the base is cooking. Uh, so I'm gonna start with three eggs. I'm just going to pop into my bowl. I've got half a cup of coconut milk. Um, that's my choice of milk because I'm avoiding starch. I always use coconut milk because um, some nut milks contain rice and other thickness that aren't good on a low starch diet. So coconut milk is always my choice of milk. Half a cup of coconut cream. I've removed the water from this tinned coconut um, so I refrigerated the tin and scooped off the cream from the top just so that it's not so watery. And finally I've got a teaspoon of garlic powder with a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, I'm just going to whiz those again. There we go. I've cooked up some red onion, one red onion with four rashers of bacon. 
Um, I've just fried them in the pan and I'm going to add that into my mixture. And just gently stir it in. And that's it. So once our base is cooked, we can fill the base. There's five minutes left on the oven, so I'm just gonna wait for that to be ready. So after 10 minutes, my base is looking really good. I'm just going to pour my mixture in. And spread it out a little. If you are eating dairy, you could add some cheese into this mixture as well. But because I'm not eating dairy, I haven't included any grated cheese. And we'll just spread out the bacon and onion. And that can go in the oven for about 30 minutes. I'll check it after 30 minutes, see how it's doing. So after 30 minutes, my quiche is ready. It's looking really delicious. Um, I can't wait to give it a go. please do subscribe to my channel and let me know if you do make it. I aim to make a lot of low starch recipes that are also gluten free and dairy free so they can be adapted to fit your diet. The recipes I make are also AIP reintro because that's where I started and that's the diet that I follow but obviously on AIP reintro everybody's food choices are going to be slightly different so I hope you can make some of my recipes Please do let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you next week with another video.